What's happening, everybody? It's Sean with Reactions to the Classics, and today we got a reaction to Glass Beach and their song Classic J Dies and Goes to Hell, Part 1. Now, there aren't any other parts, but I'll get into that in a minute. Brought to you by friend, longtime supporter, and patron of the channel, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out the Patreon link below or the patron link on the end screen. Now, I have never even heard of Glass Beach, but they're an American indie rock band from L.A. Their music has been described as heavy indie rock. Blending influences including punk rock, math rock, and mid-century jazz. They cite some of their musical influences as Jeff Rosenstock, It Might Be Giants, and The Brave Little Abacus. Now, they're made up of Jay McClendon on vocals and guitars, Jonas Newhouse, William White on drums, and Wayne Smith on lead guitar. So Jonas Newhouse is on bass. I didn't mention that bass. This album that this comes off of, which is cleverly titled The First Glass Beach album. They worked on it for three years. This is one of the first songs that was written for, but all the songs kind of took on these different iterations. They self-released it in 2019. Then they got a record deal and it was re-released in 2020. Kind of reached this cultish uh, cultish following. This song that we're about to listen to, it hit 1 million uh, listens on Spotify in 2020. I mean, that's, that's a big thing, especially for a group that, you know, is not known. So once you hit that million, it, it's a big deal. And they talk about this song. They talked about it in a tweet back then. Uh, found a very early, very, very early track list for the Glass Beach album from like 2016. Remember, it didn't come out until 2019. Part two of this song kind of fused into part one. And part three was gradually turned into Dallas. Even though Dallas shares absolutely no musical material with part three, Dallas is another song on this album. So don't know anything about this. Totally going in blind about them and this song. But all the lyrics up as always. Thanks again, Kelly.
Classic Jay dies and goes to hell part one. You're not going to accuse uh, Glass Beach of being boring, right? This song has so much going on. I mean, I'd read a review of this album from Pitchfork, and they, they described it. I saved it here. Uh, this song is a jazzy opus best described as the Black Parade off Broadway, which I saw when the tempo changed at the end, and you get the na I could see a little My Chemical Romance influence in there who who I really, really like. Uh, I actually saw him in concert last year with my daughter, Mackenzie. But uh, the song's just everywhere, right? You got the trumpet in there. You got a theremin in there. You got Jay uh, putting in the work, right? Jay McClendon's guitar, synths, keys, synth and drum programming, theremin, vocals. So yeah, you, you, got, you got Jay putting in the work, but all kinds of stuff going on in here. More of a... Uh, a downer type of song lyrically, you know, living in the past and the bad things that they've maybe done. And, you know, how could I ever sleep at night when you left? You left me paralyzed, trying to keep my head above the waves, holding out for brighter days. The first verse I, I totally can relate to. How could I ever sleep at night? My conscience left me petrified, staring at the ceiling wide awake, reliving all my worst mistakes. Worst thing is when you're trying to go to sleep and whatever you're going through, if you're going through some stress, right, it pops into your head, right, because your mind hasn't quieted. And it's the first time all day where you're not keeping yourself busy. Then you can't sleep because your mind gets going. And I, I totally, uh, totally get that. The second verse till I finally got a decent job and got a place I'll never own because home ownership is uh, expensive and becoming a more and more difficult thing to do, especially in the United States. We'll knock some holes in the walls to make it feel more like a home. They're going, they're going to bang up that rental property a little bit. And so, you know, and then Friday nights, foggy streets and Christmas lights, wake me up on Saturday, grab my hand and float away into the abyss again. And I'll always be your friend, so grab my hand, take my hand. I can't do this alone. So they repeat that three different times. And they go, no, 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 no. At the very end, we'll make this feel more like a home. So I don't know if it's the house or this life. That's what I would guess. But a very interesting song. Uh, the production on it is fantastic. It's lo-fi at points, then it kicks up. So uh, an interesting listening experience. I don't know if I like it or I don't like it, but I do want to listen to this album now. So I guess it served its purpose, right? Um they didn't mail it in, so lots of respect there. So thank you to Kelly for bringing this one. Let me know what you think of this song down below. What else I should check out with them? They don't have another album out yet, but hopefully they're working on another album and, and still out there putting in the work. So all right, guys, let me know what you think. Until next time, I'll see you.